welfare of former controversies with veterans and it's laudable. So yeah, it's a loss and we won't recover from it very quickly, nobody does. But really, our main concern right now is the family. So I'll, I'll ask uh, Reverend Patswa to say a few words. Th thanks very much, Comrade DSG. My name is Joseph Mapatswa, Kevin's brother. When we, the family feels so happy for the African National Congress, the MKMP, to be here with us today within this short space of time. Well, like as Comrade DSG has mentioned, his last wishes, which we have the clip with his wife, that if it happened, it was on Sunday when he says, if it happened that I pass on, here is my program. Here are the following speakers that must speak at my funeral. Then the ANC should be involved, the MKMBA should be involved, and the government should be involved. Nobody has been sidelined. And uh, the other issue in which we want to clear as a family, we have heard the media has been saying he died due to COVID-19 complications. No, we totally dismiss that. He died peacefully in his sleep in his house here on yesterday at 12. At, uh, at 10 o'clock, he invited his wife and he told her whatever must happen. And when the wife came back to give him food, he said, no, no, I'm still resting. May you come after an hour. And when the wife came after an hour, he was fast asleep. And she couldn't realize that he came was no more. He died in peaceful sleep in his room here at Meazdal. Not people saying at a hospital or when the paramedics, when they arrived, I was also with the paramedics. They said the cause of that is cardiac failure. So that is us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. If we could just ask you, Reverend Mapato, uh, how exactly the family is doing, his wife, uh, during this difficult time. We hear about the arrangements, but just their general well-being at this stage. Well, uh, uh, at this stage, you know, we are still all shocked as a family because we were not expecting. I mean, we were talking with somebody yesterday. All of a sudden, today is normal. So we still have to come in terms. And uh, like the DSG has said, let's give the family privacy and also take into consideration that we are living at this time of COVID complications and uh, social distancing, washing our hands. So let's also follow what our government is saying. Mm. Reverend Joseph, um, with all due respect, maybe I am not entitled to asking this question, but Compre Kimapoto was a very well-respected man and, of course, played a huge role in the controversies of a military veteran. Do we know what are some of the things that he, he, he wrote in the instructions that he said he left behind or the video clip? No, it's, it's, it's not instruction. There are no instructions. It's just people who must speak. That, that, those are not mm. instructions. Are his wishes. Mm. But I also think that's something for the family to decide. And I would ask that we respect them. Uh, you know, I don't think it's, a, it's correct for us to push mm. what uh, somebody who on their deathbed wishes are. That's a family matter. And as far as we are concerned as the ANC, we respect that. And I think so should you, actually, as the media. Uh, and perhaps, I don't know if this is premature, Reverend, um, at this stage, uh, any, uh, any details uh, on, on um, the funeral? Well, we have just managed to agree with the undertaker. The funeral will be on Sunday, mm -hmm. but the venue will be announced at the last stage, yeah. but the funeral will be on Sunday. Yeah. Thank you very okay. much. For that. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you thank all you very much. Very much. Thank and uh, thank I hope you all have a, a good spring day. <laughs> lovely, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> All right, those were comments being delivered there by the ANC Deputy Secretary General uh, Jesse Duarte, uh, having visited the family of the late Kebi Mapazwe. But we also heard there from the brother uh, of the late Kebi Mapazwe, Reverend uh, Joseph Mapazwe, basically just you know giving a bit more detail uh, in terms of how uh, he passed on, uh, talking about cardiac failure being the cause of death uh, that was identified by the paramedics. There's talk of 
him expressing some of his uh, dying wishes um, in terms of how things should proceed once he has passed on and that uh, from what we're hearing there uh, is possibly on video and Bulele Chwiti Jones will of course uh, give us a bit more detail uh, in terms of what uh, is entailed in that. Uh, the family not wanting to go into it at the moment um, understandably so. And also lastly uh, let me mention that the family talking about the funeral being on Sunday, being held uh, on Sunday. So